everyone, I am Dan Fan, otherwise known as Trisha Kafari, and I am an indie comic creator, editor, and I guess publisher now for Burning Star Comics. So I very often see other indie creators out there doing like these brief vlog videos on what a, a day in their life looks like, how they get through the grind, so to say. And I thought that would be a pretty fun video to do, so here's kind of my own spin on what a, a day in my life looks like. Relatively uneventful. I wake up the same way that everyone wakes up, two hours too late, and in a panic. Then I get my butt downstairs and get to work, usually on comic-related stuff, sometimes editing a video or coming up with ideas for the next video, reading a new manga to review in the next video, Obviously, all of the video stuff happens upstairs, <laughs> and uh, the more so comic-related stuff happens downstairs, where I actually have a desk, because I, I'm not actually recording on a desk here, in case you didn't know that. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like up here later, because I want to actually redo the wall a little bit, reorganize things a little. And uh, maybe some of you think that's fun for me to do on camera, so I'll do that. Till then, let's talk about comic stuff. Let me show you my workspace. Here it is. My little workshop. Yay! We got the nice coffee here. Um, yeah, there's uh, some stuff that's been kind of tossed to the side so I'd have more room over here. Uh, the, these headphones are broken. What the heck? This is a, a map from Universal. Don't know why I got that there. Uh, but this is a mouse for my laptop, my to-do list, random notes, <laughs> notebook. My gaming computer is also here. Sometimes I use it for uh, the gaming streams. Most of the time I just use it to watch anime occasionally while I work on my laptop. Got a little bit of boxes kind of stuffed in the corner. I'm not even gonna bother showing you the wire mess behind me. There's only so much I think you can take for one video. Ah, uh, uh, nice and cozy workstation. So like in here, got my tablet, right? with my shitty defective scratches on it. But yeah, basically, this is how I work, right? I set this up, pull up the screen. Uh, this is not touchscreen Wacom, so what I actually do is I just use the trackpad for zooming in and out here. They have like some buttons on the, yeah, they have like two buttons on the stylus, but it's terrible. <laughs> it's it's awful, so I never use it. It's so much easier to just like hold your hand out over here and use the hotkeys on your actual laptop. Dude, check it out. I got a new, like, deco punk style speaker, right? Uh, it is wireless, although you, you would be fooled because I have the charging cable in it. But it, it works wireless, I swear. It's, it's Bluetooth. The one thing that kind of annoys me, right? It's got, like, this dial on the front. And at first I thought, oh man, that's how you control, like, the volume? That sounds awesome. I hate, like, clicking the buttons in order to change the volume up and down. That sucks. We should just go back to using, like, dials, right? Um, but I was fooled. I was tricked. I was bamboozled. This is not functional. You can't move it. These buttons aren't functional either. It's, like, just for show. You use these buttons to power it on and turn the volume up and down. Like, what the, what? Missed opportunity, dude. Whose dick do I have to suck to get a dial that can actually turn for the volume 
on a wireless speaker. That's all I want in life. Uh, but it still looks cool. I'll give it that. It, sti it still looks nicer than most speakers out there. I'm gonna blast some heavy metal through this thing, I'll tell you what. So here's an original art piece I've been working on to have on the Reaper campaign. Uh, I messed it up a little bit mid-process. I don't know how clear that comes up on this super blurry phone camera. But basically, this is one of the first original art pieces where I incorporated a background, actually. And I overall like how it turned out, but I think during the inking process I started adding too much black and then I panicked and then started going over some of it with whiteout, which did help a little bit. Um, now it's a, a little bit more clear, like uh, which parts are in the background, which is in the forefront, and you can sort of see the castle a little bit better now, although originally I was like, uh, do I want the castle in silhouette? Or do I want it to, to like, be brighter against a back, a black background? And now it's just like kind of half and half. <laughs> you can tell that I added some white out around the castle to make the shape more apparent. And then I added white out to the castle. Ugh, what a pain, what a pain. But even though I had a little bit of troubles with the whole background section of it, I think it actually turned out pretty good. I, I hope that somebody who backs this tier enjoys this original art piece. I get really worried when I do art traditionally like this because I'm always worried about uh, obvious mistakes. You can't really control Z in real life or you can't really use the lasso tool to move stuff around into the correct spots. But every now and then I, I actually uh, just pump out a pretty decent original art piece and I don't have to worry about redoing it from scratch. If you want to check out the Reaper campaign, there should be a link to the mailing list down below in the description. We launch March 1st and this is going to be my first dark fantasy series. I'm actually kicking off a whole series. They're going to be thick books, but at the end of the day, this is what I want to do. So, please support me if you can. I already know that I, I personally don't really care about spoilers, but because I know other people out there do care about spoilers, I'll keep this nice and spoiler free for you. There you go. You have a super zoomed in panel. You have no idea what's going on, but I do. So, what I'm working on right now, or what I'm starting to work on, is what's going to be the final fight scene of Reaper, and you might think, oh man, that must mean you're really close to the end, Dan Fan, but it's a very long fight scene, and uh, of course I also have a couple pages of conclusions. So, not quite what I would describe as close, but sure, I'm close. <laughs> it's close enough. This fight scene in general, too, um, there's a lot of things that happen during the fight scene that progress the story forward, and there was a lot of insecurity I had, particularly with the main character. I kind of set him up to be like this uh, apathetic, jaded character, which makes him a little, a little less than exactly a, a very good hero t archetype. I mean like good as in where he stand. now he's more like a neutral but good at heart type of guy, you know? He is kind of 
breaking the law by uh, engaging in becoming a reaper and selling other people's souls. That's not, it's not a very good guy thing to do. And so I struggle a little bit with uh, trying to make it so that he's flawed, make it so that he's doing bad things, but it's also clear that he's a good person at heart. And despite him being apathetic, he has the potential to be a, a good character and do good things. And that's kind of part of what the idea was behind the Reaper series, is that you're seeing this uh, apathetic, neutral guy on his path to redemption, rediscovering hope in the future. And I kind of just hope that I don't make him unlikable or in some people's view, irredeemable. Because that can be a really tricky thing to show someone doing something bad and not have the audience be like, oh, he's a bad guy, I don't like him. It's something that I've definitely been very afraid of in other comics that I've done. And maybe I've made characters a little bit too goody two-shoes, especially like in Sonic City Witch. I think Hazel is a little bit too much of a goody two-shoes. So I want to try to not make the mistake of being too timid to let a character just be flawed and, and do bad things sometimes. Because ultimately, the goal of the character is to do the right thing is to uh, change their ways. For those of you wondering, yes, I still have the Wacom. I, I will be getting a new tablet soon. I think what I'm gonna actually go with is the XP pen for like kind of just one reason. They have a dial for zooming in and out. I kind of like that, not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, Hueon had something similar, which I was also looking at, where they had like a touch thing that you like, you know, touch up and down with to zoom in and out, and that's fine, but I feel like that'll hurt my finger after a while doing that, so I kind of like the dial better. I know, it's a very shallow reason for getting a tablet, but like, all the other specs are extremely comparable to Wacom, so it's not like I'm I'm downgrading for a dial. It's more like I'm moving in a straight line, but also getting a dial. Really, just anything that is also like this, but has hotkeys on the side, is immediately better in my personal opinion. I don't know why this does not have hotkeys on the side. It's It feels strange. I don't like that the pen has this button on the side that I keep on pressing accidentally. There are more reasons besides just the fact that the Wacom came in scratched that I don't like it. It's just that the noise it makes was uh, the, the last straw on the camel's back, so to say. Or the straw that, that broke the camel's back. You know what? Fuck you. Here's where all the magic happens. Now, as you can see, it's, um, it's not as spacious as I'd like it to be. There's a bunch of, like, junk in this corner that I just throw over here to get it out of my way. A lot of books that, uh, kind of just need to either be thrown out or given away that we don't really want, but we have to go through them in order to figure out what's what. We're not gonna really worry about that right now for this video. Uh, right now I just want to focus on changing up the wall. We have new art pieces that I'd like to incorporate somewhere. And I also want to make some space for a new Reaper poster for when that campaign launches on March 1st so that we can show off some of the art that I had done for that. Alright, so let's start moving some things around, shall we? So there is a basic reorganization, so you can kind of see what we're going for here, leaving space for a future Reaper poster. Uh, for now, though, it does kind of look a little bit empty in this space. I, I mean, I have, like, neat 3D castles and everything to show off, but uh, maybe I could bring them higher up or, or stuff like that until we actually have 
something to put here? I'm not sure. I'm also noticing now that this space down here, even though it's not exactly where the eye is going to, there is room to put something there in the future. Maybe I could put in a, an original art piece there or something. Hmm? But either way, we, we accomplished the main goal. <laughs> we also put up a new art piece over here. I know that you can't really tell what it is from this angle, but it's another Frazetta piece. because so we have a Frazetta over here, and then this one is kind of like a Roman Spartan Frazetta that I thought looked pretty cool. So we have that up as well. I think it's somewhat better in the periphery, just to like take away a little bit of attention from the wood paneling. <laughs> we should take as much attention from the wood paneling as possible. I also have my super old Ellie poster beneath it, which uh, is a little bit dated. So once again, more space for more things in the future. Kind of trade out some posters for some new posters. But for now, I think I'm overall pretty happy with this setup that we have going on. If you are interested in the publishing side of things, keep in mind that The Way Long Back is now officially released on Burning Star. It's actually one of our first romance focused comics on the website which I'm pretty excited about myself because I'm pretty passionate about romance and it's difficult to find other people that are passionate about romance, although I know those people are out there because you look at Webtoon and it's just completely oversaturated with romance. Bad romance, I might add. So I really would like to add some more good romances to the world, uh, wholesome romances, romances that do not thrive on all this extra cheating and, uh, breakup drama, but rather instead, you know, focus on a couple that genuinely loves each other and uh, treats each other well. <laughs> Imagine that. So definitely check out The Way Long Back if you haven't already. Obviously, more so the focus of this video, because it's talking about my comics in particular, is the, the comic Reaper, which I am currently working on as much as possible. It is going to be my longest graphic novel that I've released so far anyway. I'm thinking book two might actually be even longer than book one. It's only gonna be a little over a hundred pages, but for an indie creator that has like no assistance and uh, no real outside help with putting together this comic, it's a very big deal. There's a, a lot of work that goes into making a comic that not a lot of people realize. And if you're into dark fantasy, I'd recommend uh, checking out the campaign page. Right now we have an email sign-up page. If you sign up for the mailing list, you'll be notified immediately upon it launching, which is a big deal, of course, because it's important to get a lot of people backing the campaign as soon as it launches, like very quickly, because that's how you build up momentum on these crowdfunding campaigns. So I would highly recommend please sign up for the mailing list so that you can, if you're interested in it, you can get notified as soon as possible. Any other comics you want to know about, check them out on burningstarcomics.net. I want you to check it out if you haven't already. Give it a chance. Give it a shot. We have free previews that you can read on the website. Uh, just check out the previews 2024 and you can see all a little sneak peeks of all the new things that are coming this year. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video, comment below, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I'll be coming out with some more reviews pretty soon, as well as maybe some more interviews. Yay! Can we bring back Comic Talk Tuesday? I think we can. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Program restart.